वर्मिकोलाइट इज सुपर हेल्पफुल इन ऑल एरियाज ऑफ प्लांटिंग एंड ग्रोइंग इफ यू नो द राइट वे टू यूज इट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट वर्मिकोलाइट यूजेस एंड बेनिफिट्स फॉर प्लांट्स सो कीप वाचिंग एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल Vermiculite in itself is a natural mineral product mined from USA and Brazil. After extraction, it's processed through a procedure to bring it in a usable form. Then it's packed and launched to the market. In appearance, vermiculite is a very lightweight golden brown flakes without any kind of smell. It's used in many fields due to its absorbent, insulating and fire resistant properties. We can use it for plants as a soil amendment in several ways. Vermiculite provides many benefits to our plants. Let me describe that shortly. Vermiculite is water retentive. It holds nutrients in it just like biochar and provide it to the plant when needed. It also improves the drainage and aeration in the soil which is very helpful in organic gardening. It's also non-toxic and sterilized which means it doesn't contain any kind of germs. It's totally new which can be super useful for preparing a seeds media. Its one quality is that it's very lightweight. The soil media prepared using vermiculite won't have any weight. That's helpful for rooftop gardening. Overall, it promotes root growth, makes the media just ideal for seeds or cuttings, enhances immune system of a plant, prevents several fatal diseases like root rot, dieback, etc. It's a must try thing, so do subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. The right way to use vermiculite is extremely important so you can get most out of it. The first way is to simply use it as a mulching material. You may know mulching the plants is very beneficial. It promotes microbial life, makes the soil better, protects the water from drying out and so on. And vermiculite is one of the best things to use as a mulching material. Simply make a thin layer of vermiculite on the soil of any plant. You can learn in depth about mulching and its benefits for plants from the description box. Too much thick layer can be disturbing for a plant. Only 1 inch thick layer on the soil surface is enough. Another easy way to use vermiculite is to use it in seeds media. In your seed starter, you can add a small amount of vermiculite and use it for growing seeds. Only 10% of vermiculite is enough. Don't use more than 10 to 15%. With this seed starter, the germination rate of seeds will be much more and the seedlings will be stronger as well. You can also buy a seed starter and vermiculite from the description box link. Another simple way to use vermiculite for plants is in a potting mix. If you are preparing a potting mix for a sensitive plant, maybe for a rare variety of a house plant, you can use vermiculite in this potting mix. Just a small amount like 10 to 15% is enough. Using vermiculite for hardy plants is not ideal. If you want to fill a big grow bag, here vermiculite will cost you too much. So, no need to use. The plant will adjust on its own. Another useful way to apply vermiculite is while the reporting or transplant. You can simply make a layer of vermiculite at the base of a pot. This will make the drainage very ideal. That is very important for a reported plant. After the transplant, keep only a moderate amount of moisture in the soil and you will see your plant will recover very well. It will be on its feet soon and start growing. So do subscribe to know more of such tips and tricks. Another way to use vermiculite is as a hydroponic media. You can grow a cutting only in vermiculite container. You know the property of vermiculite to hold the moisture deep inside. So cuttings will grow in such an environment very fast. You can see the results on your screen, but remember you also need to add nutrients in the water in order to keep such a plant in this bottle. Following an ideal way, vermiculite can be used for all type of plants, either it's a house plant, a succulent or cacti, a flowering plant or a vegetable plant, but it's mostly used for seeds, rare house plants, succulents and cacti plants. Just follow a correct way and enjoy better growth. If we talk about perlite and vermiculite, both works almost the same, but there is some difference. Besides their different appearances, perlite is a neutral in pH, while the vermiculite is alkaline in pH. Perlite is much lighter and porous than vermiculite. Still, they can be replaced with one another. A detailed guide on perlite and its amazing benefits is added in the description box. There are also some side effects you may face while using vermiculite, and here is how to avoid them. Vermiculite has an alkaline pH and if you use too much of vermiculite, 
दिस कैन मेक दी होल सॉइल एल्कलाइन डैट कैन काज प्रॉब्लम फॉर एसिडिक सॉइल लविंग प्लांट्स द सिंपल सोल्यूशन इज टू यूज सम कम्पोस्ट बिकॉज इट्स एस्टिक और यू कैन जस्ट यूज लेसर वर्मिकोलाइट वर्मिकोलाइट ऑल्सो कंटेन्स सम डस्ट डैट इज इट्स पाउडर्ड फॉर्म and inhaling it can be really harmful so use a face mask while handling vermiculite a good quality vermiculite is also linked in the description box if you like to buy another side effect or misconception is its nutritional content vermiculite itself doesn't contain any nutrients it absorbs nutrients from the soil so using only vermiculite can be a bad choice you need to use other soil amendments along for a reliable mixture There is a whole playlist on different soil amendments in the description box you can follow that. So it's all about vermiculite for plants. One of the easiest way to add nutrients in the vermiculite is to use a compost. You can also make compost at home by decomposing vegetable peels. Here is a detailed video you can follow and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.